When using the coping saw, it's very important to ensure that you're using the boxing stents as previously talked about in the previous video. It's also important to use the same grip with the two hands to ensure you have good control and balance over the tool. This provides good accuracy and precision throughout your piece, ensuring that you have good control over both the tool and also yourself with the use of the boxing stents. Here we're going to create a curve with the coping saw. Because the blade is so small, it is used to create curves so it can get in around the small little areas compared to a tenon saw. This is why the coping saw blade is so small to ensure it creates a good accurate curve as long as you use it correctly. As you can see, I placed the piece in the vise at an angle so you can begin to create the cut as accurate as possible. When using, ensure that you're using the boxing stance and also ensure that you're using two hands on the handle to provide good accuracy and precision throughout your cutting. As you can see, I'm using the full length of the coping saw blade to ensure that I'm removing all waste in which is being created and all the sawdust is being removed. It's also important to ensure that you have your blade parallel to the bench to ensure you have a good, accurate, precise cut all the way across your piece. If you don't have the blade parallel to the bench or the vise, your cut will be inaccurate and also off your marking line. This can cause serious problems as you continue out your design process in which you may be using the coping software. It's very important to ensure that you're looking on both sides of the piece to ensure that you're accurate with your line. This creates precision and accuracy through your own processing. As you can see it's you're ta taking your time with the blade to ensure you're good and accurate with your cut and using the full length of the saw. How do you remove the blade from the material if you want to take it out? You're going to create the same motion as you were when you were sawing but start to move the blade out of the piece. This is to prevent the blade from getting jammed in your piece of material or getting stuck which could cause the blade to break and cause problems throughout your processing. So what happens if you don't keep the blade parallel to the vise or keep an eye on both sides. When you remove your piece after not doing these two key principles you can see the different marking on your line. When we look closer at our processing you can see that one line is accurate because we paid attention to one line but the other side is all gone off the marking. This is due to not keeping an eye on both sides of the material are not keeping the blade parallel to the vise to ensure that you're making a good accurate square cut in the piece. As the pins on the coping saw are adjustable this means you can change the direction of the blade when necessary if you are dealing with a piece as shown in the diagram. Here I'm going to go through the same principles that apply for when you turn the blade in a different direction when necessary. You can change the direction of the pins if you find it more comfortable to do so than having the pins in the upright position. But you have to ensure that the two pins are perfectly in line with each other ensuring that the blade is nice and straight as previously talked about in the previous video. Ensure that you're using your two hands on the handle and also ensure that you're using the boxing stents. It's very important to keep an eye on both sides of your markings to ensure that your saw is perfectly square and parallel to the bench in which you're cutting on. This provides a good, accurate, precise cut ensuring that your curve is perfect to the way you want it to. This depends on the way that you use the tool, ensuring that you use all key principles in which are previously discussed. Ensure that you're using the full length of the saw, keeping it parallel to the vise, and also 
ensuring that you're using two hands and the boxing stance when using it. Once completed, we can see our perfectly rounded edge, which is one mil away from our marking line. This is to allow for smoothing out to ensure that our curve is perfectly circular or the shape in which we intended.